Hello and welcome to another video game shop dumpster dives uh, geeky on a budget video. This is episode five, and um, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We have a actual live video, of, or not live, an actual video of us at the dumpster because I've been getting questions about what um, if we if I actually go do through the, with this. So there's a video clip that I'm gonna show you now. And you can see that, you know, we actually go to the dumpsters. Oh, man, that's, that's going to be a bitch to get out of it. Ouch. Oh. oh, shit. I got a PSP, so that's kind of sweet. Nice. Actually, I got emulated PSP, so I don't necessarily need the game, but I'll take it. Bunch of more promo stuff. Is this in there? Damn, that would have been sweet. Yeah, you want to hold on to this stuff? Are you actually recording? Yep. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> now that you're back, um, I'm going to go through what we found. Um, there's only a couple videos or a couple videos of a couple of the dumpsters that we did, um, and I'm going to fast and it was fast through it, but uh, you know, we went to five. Three of them had nothing, so basically we only two of them had stuff in it. So I'm just gonna go through as fast as I can. Um, the DS cases for this time, you know, really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna just show you what I got. I got a crap load of PS3 cases, just empty cases. Um, you can see there are most of them are already taken out by GameStop themselves. So. Um, there. It's kind of cool as I've never gotten a Wii one, so I got two Wii and three Xbox ones. There was a couple more. There's a bunch more of ca empty cases. I just didn't take them all because it just got too many. Uh, no games in the Xbox ones, sadly. I was hoping for Modern Warfare, but whatever. Um, next, uh, got a promo sleeve. Um, Kirby booklet randomly. Um, got a couple of DS promo things and actual DS ones too. Um, Scribble Knots, Kirby's Mass Attack, which that book goes for, so I guess it wasn't random. Um, a couple of the Mario versus Donkey Kong and Mario Inside Bowser's story. Um, and I got a stack of promo stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. Um, a lot of Diablo, though. Um, this game of Hearts World is pretty cool to go with my display. Other than that, it's a lot of PS3 games. So that's that. Um, it's kind of sweet. Uh, PS2 headset. I don't actually own a PS2 anymore, but I'm going to get one again, so, um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, DS light box, um, if I remember correctly, P3, or who I call P3Z, he, uh, got, just got a black DS light, so, you know, we're in the midst of making the trade, so if you want this, uh, let me know. Um, an old school Xbox 360 power cord with you know the Xbox adapter and stuff and it looks like it works I believe it I believe it does um, I'm going to rant a second um, I went to a new GameStop and I went to a new GameStop uh, I had to cut the video because my daughter was trying to talk to me um, and most of the time I've never had problems with strategy guides and this GameStop decided to rip the covers off like dicks you know this what what's the point so you know I had three Tomb Raiders so you know that's fine I there was a couple of other Tomb Raider ones uh, that got ripped so that's the second one that was ripped what made me mad is I haven't gotten a Devil May Cry one yet and I was I seen this on YouTube all the time so I wanted one and the bitches ripped it, so um, probably gonna go in the trash. 
Um, I got another Black Ops hardcover with the guide. Um, they obviously couldn't rip this, so um, it's pretty sweet. So this is up for trade. Um, basically everything in this video, if you want to want to just private message me, but I actually got two of these, but uh, one of my friends took one, the guy that was filming took one, uh, the man zombie, Geeks United podcast with me, um, I got a, a traveler charger, which is, you know, just some random charger that probably worked for most phones, uh, Wii condom, Wii wheels, this is actually Nintendo, so that's kind of cool. A nunchuck, which was kind of interesting. Like, a lot of uh, the nunchucks and the wheels were really dirty, so I had to go home and sanitize them, so there's that. Um, I'll get to the games, I guess, then. Uh, P or PSP game, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters, which is pretty cool. I, uh, I own a PSP, so... This would go to use, um, but I don't actually have to pay for games. I got mod at one, so yeah. Um, Wii Sports game included, pretty good shape. Um, Star Wars Old Knights, it's pretty scratched up, um, but they're not deep scratches, so they can either get buffed out or if it actually still plays, I'll download it to my. Xbox and play it like that, so there that goes. Um, and lastly, in this video, I'm going to make a separate posters video. Is I got I finally got this, um, it's see through, obviously, it's a cloth uh, Final Fantasy 14, and you know, there's one open, one in the plastic. I'm going to keep one and trade one, so again. Um, anything you see in this video or in the next video, um, feel free to private message me or comment below and we'll work out a trade. Um, I'm more than willing to trade basically anything you've seen in pretty previous videos and I will be making a trade video soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you for watching uh, Geeking on the Budget Part 1 of Episode 5. And uh, check your dumpsters, <laughs> as P3Z would say. but. Uh, just, it's worth it. So, just, if you're not afraid of doing it, just go ahead and do it.